We ought to obey God rather than men. We ought to obey God rather than men. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to all the hopeful members of the elect. Honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders of Apostle Great Millstone for bringing down 100% truth and keeping it real. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do well. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, we'd like to say, call Allah you, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakhadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us the truth. All right, double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone. All right, double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone. Double honors to the elect elders of the house of David that's been in this truth for decades and decades. So you can see in those videos, right, that I put together, uh, the understanding of what that really means, right? So we're going to talk about praises of men, doctrines of men, right? Doctrines of men, right? Because you got to remember, we didn't get taught by man. We got taught by the Holy Ghost, the Rakhar Kadosh, right? So the scriptures are praying to the Holy, man, right? They teach doctrines of man, right? A man is of the flesh, and the flesh is made manifest, right? You see how those metaphors just flow, bang, 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 bang? It's plain, bro. These niggas are so wicked. They, 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 they appear righteous unto men, bro, right? They appear to be the sheep, yeah? They, they appear to be uh, Yahushua's uh, lost sheep, but they, they fucking not, man. Their actions will always, your actions will always expose you niggas, man. You can run your fucking mouth, right? But your actions will always get you, right? They give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man, right? Now, let's read what, what's next. But have removed their heart from me. Heart. Now, heart is another metaphor and cinnamon for the mind, right? Because you're supposed to have what? You're supposed to have the mind of Hamashiach. And none of these niggas have the mind of Hamashiach. Praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash, Rakadam, to all the brothers out there preaching in sincerity and in truth. Worship Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Indeed, you worship Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, through men, through men that the Heavenly Father has set up. You know, even between us and Yahweh Shah, there's a mediator. Uh, and all your wicked ass members of uh, that corrupt tree, man, right? Because we all know that corrupt tree is all one west, bro. And he's all splitting into other camps, right? Usually that corrupt tree. That's why it says a corrupt tree uh, cannot bear forth good fruit, man. Most false apostles, right, yeah, uh, were the real pastors that's written in the Bible. Why do, they, why do they not possess any spiritual power? During that time when I was part of GMS, right? When I was part of GMS, I didn't have the Holy Spirit. When I was part of GMS, I didn't have the Holy Spirit. When I was part of GMS, I didn't have the Holy Spirit. I didn't have the Holy Spirit. I didn't have the Holy Spirit. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaQuadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you followers of the truth, you sincere believers. Shalom to the elect. I want to go in this video here. This guy, he left a comment on a video that I did dealing with Go Teach All Nations. Someone wanted me to do a video. A brother wanted me to do a video and edify him on it. So I did the video on it. And then out of all videos, this guy comes on this video and says, stop spreading lies. This is why we see the Holy Spirit is not with this guy. Now, I'm sure he does believe that we're Israelites because his channel is Yahweh Shah 144. He was a part of Great Millstone, so he says. But to the video that was dealing with the truth and dealing with teaching all nations, which is the Israelites, he had a problem with the other doctrines and, and GMS in general. So we see how the Most High will make these guys flake out, you know, and show their hatred for him, right? If you're not chosen, you're just not chosen. But anyway, this guy is the type of guy that, and we'll get into that. If you, um, we want to, we don't want to deal with should we praise men. But this guy is the type of guy 
who flips around in, in different corners and where they can get a good vision of cars doing 90 miles an hour up the street and acting like he's out there on the hedges for 40 minutes is just talking trash. I, I don't know why he's out there. He can do that at home. But the Lord has a sense of humor. He'll make you go out and make you believe that you're in the spirit and you're just out there looking like you're looking. But anyway, um, first, second, I'm going to get into the lesson, 2 Timothy 3 and 2. It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. This guy is severely disobedient. When you're, when you're a young man or young woman, you're taught all your mannerisms, your behaviors from, from when you're an infant to a toddler, to a child or a young boy, then to an adult. Well, this guy came in the truth. He learned all of the apostles, a great millstone, under the doctrine Learn under GMS, that's how you want to call it, came up, took what he learned, and then became rebellious and still calling on the name of the Lord. I don't know why and how he feels the Lord is not dealing with men and not trust men. When it says don't trust in man, it's talking about tr don't trust in a, a non-spiritual man, right? So I don't understand where, well, I do understand. He's a reprobate, okay? So anyway, this video... It's not for the ones that's uh, too offensive. You know, if you don't like it, then the truth is offensive. We're going to go into praise. Should we praise? Well, first, let's go to 1 Timothy 5 and 17. Okay. It says, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy and double honor. Right. We don't technically have to say it, but we say it because of referencing and I'm going to say praise. I'm going to show you why. Especially they who labor in word and in doctrine. Now, I'm not going around telling everybody just to bow down to men. I'm not saying that, right? But spiritually, you show that reference and that respect, right? A lot of you guys praise athletes. A lot of people is crazy about the worship and the praising, but they got football jerseys with somebody else's name on the back of it, right? This is what they do. They got the Michael Jordan sneakers on, or tennis shoes, whatever you want to call them, basketball shoes. And they love it, and they'll brag it and hold it up on Facebook. Look at my new shoes. They're praising these things, and we're not supposed to praise idols. But now when you got men that's spiritual, that's bringing out truth, something different, because this is all of the Lord. When the Lord is using the vessels to uh, push forward his, his word, you praise that, right? Let's go into the scriptures. Let's go into the words, okay? Um, let's go to the word praise. Praise means, basically, you can look this all up yourself. It means to value, right? Uh, to value, to, it says, let me see here. Let me go. It says praise means to it uh, basically to express admiration or of uh, admiration of to commend, uh, adulate to flatter, adulate. I don't know what adulate means. We're gonna go into a couple of words as our apostles and teachers has recommended us to do, right? Uh, it says extreme or excessive admiration, okay, flattery, okay. The Lord said, thou shalt not put any other gods before him or any man before him. You're not doing that if it's all coming down through the spirit of the Lord, right? That's not the case. It becomes the case, right, when it's not the spirit of the Lord and you're admiring or um, um, praising Men that they're not doing according to the will of the Heavenly Father. You guys praise football teams and basketball teams and everybody else, right? So anyway, it says to praise means to value, okay? It also means, let me see here. Okay, admiration. That's basically what it means. So we go to admiration. 
admiration means okay it says here admiration means to regard with wonder to regard to be astonished okay now this guy himself when he saw the apostles a great millstone or any other brother that may have been teaching he was astonished he was he was uh admiring it you know it also means to regard when you look up the word regard it means to take notice of okay perhaps an intensive okay to look heed um to respect to esteem the scripture says to do that i mean is the guy been reading the bible to favor kindly you get the point considerations esteemable qualities so really when we go to this word praise we say all praises which means all the admiring all the uh regard all the love everything goes to yahweh bashim yahweh shah we don't deny that at all i think he should know that this is what we say when we open up first and foremost we'll uh, some brothers will say that first and foremost meaning it all goes to the, the glory all goes to the praises all goes to the, the heavenly father and his son yahweh in the name of his son but now yahweh in the name of his son set up men as mediators with the truth how else did this guy know the name of the Lord? How else else did this guy? Did the Most High beam down and tell this guy to get a garment with a border of blue and give him the name of the Lord in Hebrew? So I guess Moses was not supposed to be uh, esteemed or praised or looked at as well, right? Moses wasn't. He sent his son, Yahawashai, who set up men peter on down as an order but somehow even in the animal world when birds take off you'll see the bird in the front and the other two i mean the other quite a few whatever in a in a v-shaped <coughs> flying <coughs> you'll see the animals the dogs the cats they all have some form of order but jake <coughs> jake doesn't have order that's why in Jeremiah 2, he said, how thou become a degenerate, strange plant, you know? How did he become so damn degenerate? Let's get some more scriptures. Uh, let's go to Hebrews 13 and 17. Obey them, right, that have rule over you and submit. Wait a minute. This is the problem with Western culture. Eve don't want to submit. You know why a lot of Eve's not submitting? That's because they're messed up. But it's because a lot of you Jakes. This guy here, he's the very guy that is responsible or partially responsible, let me say that, for Eve's out of control conduct. Because he doesn't have order. If he doesn't have order, his woman won't. Right? Just plain and simple. It says, and submit well let's go to the word submit i didn't even have that in mind but let's go there it don't even have to be on our etymology we kind of sub means under right um to yield to lower to let down to put under to reduce and we've seen the stories did this guy read the bible we've seen the story where even with king david on a couple of occasions when he admired Saul, King Saul, all the way even after his death, he called him the Lord's anointed. Even Uriah, when he put, when he sent Uriah out to, to battle, and Uriah laid right there admiring King David. That's the culture that we had. And this rebellious culture, okay, is a, is, uh, is a cancer you know even cancer cells have a reason and they have some form of order 
when it gets out of control, you have what you call free radicals and it gets out of control. Right? These guys are worse than that. All right? So they don't have quite understanding of, of the scriptures. Okay? Um, this is, let me go here. First Thessalonians 5, and I'm going to jump to the point 11. It says in 12, and we beseech you, brethren, to know, the, and there's like hundreds of scriptures on this, right? The Bible is all about order. First Corinthians 11, it's all about order. The churches, Paul set up elders of churches. I mean, come on. So these elders wasn't of the churches wasn't referenced? Wasn't praised to some degree? And we beseech you, brethren, and to know them which labor among you and over you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. And this is why we say double honors to the elder and the apostles of great millstones. And guess what? There's honors to brothers that's out on the highways. There's brothers that's following us. You know, even men of lower rank, there's brothers who still esteemed up to them. There's a brother that come to our camp and he looks at us in high regard, right? High regard. As I look up to men over me in high regard and they look up to men over them in high regard. So technically, if it's offensive to you, it still goes breaks down to being uh, putting uh, having high regard for someone, which goes back to actually praise. Right, the thing you're not supposed to do is, you know, you're not supposed to overly worship men and um, put them higher than a level than the Most High and His Son, and everybody should know that. You're not supposed to do that. Those are vessels being used to teach you. And you ought to be thankful for that. But clearly these guys aren't thankful or even feeling blessed that they have the truth or even the garments or even to know the name of the Lord. Let me say that. They're not blessed. To, you would think they would be blessed about that. You would think that even after everything, at least they would feel blessed. After everything, the fallout they had with GMS and everything went rot. And it, they, uh, it was out of control. They got mad at brothers or whatever. You got a precious jewel right there with you, man. And that's the, the name of the Lord. And when you spend so much energy in a coming against groups or the truth or how of other men and how they teach, then that means you have more love or so-called hate, you know, for let me say dislike or love for the the truth well let me say you have more love of getting on or having an issue with other brothers in the truth then you have love for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah because even if you felt that okay you would do a video on that you would get out there on the highways and you would wake up our people man you or, or they wake up the elect that would be your main common objective to get out there. But you know what this guy does? Let's go to his page. Let's see what this guy does. He just wanted a little attention. So he's getting a little bit of attention. It's not the good attention, I guess. He goes on the highways. His last time on the highways was three minutes. Three minutes and seven seconds. These are reprobates. And then he got G-M-S-B-I-T-C-H, you know, the N-word. Okay. I don't know why with this anti-shim thing going on, why ain't they taking that mess down? But anyway, um, for this camp, okay, he was out there 46 minutes, three weeks ago, a month ago, 34 minutes. Then he ain't go out uh, for three months before that for 50 minutes, 50 minutes. Again, you go out and do what you can for the Lord, but... Come on, man. Three months in a uh, two, three months, you ain't been out? Then one time, four months before that. 
So this guy goes out like probably once a month, then skips three months. He might go out twice in a month for 40 minutes, and one one of them three minutes on a highway. This, this man, ain't, you can't be a man of the Lord. At least I don't think so. He doesn't have it, man. And that's why he's trying to go everywhere, trying to draw himself some attention. Any attention to him would, is better than no attention. And that's his mindset. Get on GMS. But you know what happened with guys that get on GMS? Like this guy, Yakanan, and the rest of these guys. You know what happened with these guys? They all disappear. You don't see them no more. They, they have a wave that come through and they back in the world. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.